What was shared? You never miss until it's gone. All those everyday habits and arbitrary traditions like margaritas on the fifth, classic films on the fourth. Activities as communal as a class reunion and as private as the way in which you hold each other. Murmuring trivial jokes while basking in a favorite song's familiar embrace instead of chilled by a sullen atmosphere shaped by a shortness of temper, the stress of decline, a silence broken only by the restless turning of pages at the kitchen table. Urbanity. The city, so they say, never sleeps. Churning along with the fervor of towering buildings, shadowing people, swarming sidewalks alive with electric energy. All in a hurry to be somewhere. Even if there is simply home for TV, dinner, and other creature comforts we define by apps and social media. Nowadays, you never leave the crowd, as virtual clicks expect regular check-ins and updates. Everyone complains about being unable to unplug from work, but what about from peers? Is it still acceptable to lose yourself in a movie or an album without needing to know what Anne's cat is doing this evening, or if Thomas is back from the Caribbean? These days, it's easier to lose yourself on a bustling street than in the confines of a studio apartment. Simpler to glide along with a multitude indifferent to your politics or views on guacamole. <laughs> yes, the city will never rest and is full of boulevards brimming with distractions. Yet, despite all else, it will always grant you plenty of room to think. <laughs> Follow the future. Why did she do it? Why would she follow the future glimpsed within those inky shapes, placing faith in intangible prophecies, dissipating like smoke yet conveying the full weight of truth, tragic, inevitable? Perhaps there is wisdom in that old adage proclaiming it better to have loved and lost than never loved at all. If no joy is permanent, then neither is any heartache, and we are never bereft of hope as long as we refuse to be overwhelmed by a glass half full of sorrows, when instead we might savor sensations made richer for acknowledging their nature, fleeting like dust to dust, love to loss, lost to hope. Thank you.